Hello, friends. Today we'll learn about migraines. Hey, buddy. You're playing here in the park. That's great. Hmm. You look tired and unwell. Did you notice? Nowadays, you frequently experience sudden pain on one side of the head. I think you have a migraine. Don't get confused. I'll explain all about this. A migraine is a neurological disorder that can cause severe throbbing pain or a pulsing sensation, usually on one side of the head. The most common symptoms of a migraine attack include throbbing headache, sensitivity to light, noise, and smell, vomiting, and lethargy. Mm. You're yawning and exhausted. Have some water. You will feel better. Hmm. It's the first stage of a migraine. Let me tell you about the different stages one by one. First stage is the premonitory stage. During this stage, you may feel a variety of physical and mental changes, such as tiredness, mood changes, <laughs> craving certain types of foods, feeling thirsty, neck stiffness, and frequent yawning. Ooh. These feelings can last from 1 to 24 hours. The second stage is the aura stage. Around one-third of people with migraines go through this stage. Look closely. Aura occurs due to a spontaneous slow-moving wave that passes over the surface of the brain, temporarily affecting the functions of the parts it travels over. The main attack stage. This stage involves head pain, which can be extremely harsh. The headache is typically throbbing and made worse by movement, sound, and light. The pain is generally on one side of the head, but can be on both sides or all over the head. Vomiting and sickness can also happen at this stage. This stage can last from four hours up to three days. post stage. It can linger a few hours to more than a day after the headache goes away. It doesn't involve pain like the headache phase, but you may feel uneasy. Oh, you want to know about the causes of migraine? Let me tell you about this. It can be caused by several factors, including stress or depression, lack of sleep, changes in blood flow in the brain, intake of more caffeine and their products, etc. Genetics and environmental factors are also one of the causes of migraine attacks. It is estimated that approximately 60% of the reason people get migraines is because of their genes. There's currently no permanent cure for migraines, although a number of treatments are available to help ease the symptoms. Make sure to always consult your doctors before taking any medication. Here are some effective tips to control this. The same lifestyle choices that promote overall good health can also reduce the frequency and severity of your migraine attacks. It is very important to stay active. Everyone should exercise regularly, practice meditation, and always keep calm. Stay hydrated and eat wisely. Include leafy greens and fruits, whole grains, etc. in your diet. Avoid processed meals, junk food, and sugary drinks. Always go to bed on time and take sufficient sleep. Living with migraines is a daily challenge, but making healthy lifestyle choices can help reduce the effects. Now, you know a lot about migraines. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.